Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Modesty, and welcome to the Celebrity Spotlight Live talk show where we take you beyond the lights, cameras, and the action of actors, authors, entrepreneurs, entertainment, and business professionals for the purposes of business promotion, marketing, branding, and exposure. Tonight, we are delighted to have as our special guest, The Amazing, that's capital A-M-A-Z-I-N-G, Taylor Richardson. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. Taylor is a future astronaut, a STEM slash STEAM advocate, and an influential teen philanthropist, and so much more. Welcome, Taylor and Tony. How are all? Of, how are both of you this evening? Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. I would like to say that uh, you are a teen star slash celebrity (laughs) in your own right. And uh, you and your mom have traveled extensively. And uh, you've been interviewed by The Root, uh, Glamour Magazine, and you've met some of the most prominent celebrities on the planet, uh, such (laughs) as Oprah Winfrey and uh, Uh Edwin DuVernay. And last but certainly not least, May Carol Jemison, who is the Mm -hmm. first um, African-American astronaut. And you've done all of this at the tender age of 14 years old. Yes, ma'am. Bravo. (laughs) Thank you. Okay, we're going to get started, being that we have a a few minutes here. Um, When did you discover, uh, Taylor, that you wanted to become an astronaut and that you wanted to fly? Uh, well, at the age of nine, I wanted to be an astronaut after reading my idol, Dr. Mae Jemison's autobiography. And after reading some of the struggles that she went through, I went through the mm-hmm. same thing as a little girl. So seeing that she could do it, I believe I could too. So after that, I kind of put my dreams to reality and went to space camp, and that's where my dream started. That's amazing. At the age of nine. That's amazing. Now, you're an advocate for STEM slash STEAM. Um, tell us what uh, the letters represent and how has STEM impacted you? Um, STEM stands for, well, STEAM stems for science, yeah. technology, engineering, arts, and math. And STEM impacted me as it made me want to help my community while also helping young girls get interested to STEM. It also helped me had a way to escape from bullying, which I suffered with when I was a little kid. So Mm. it always did something I held on to. And so it was like my outlet to get away. And it always helped me when I was little and now that I'm older. Wow. It's interesting you mentioned, uh, Taylor, that you were bullied uh, during school. Mm -hmm. Did that at any uh, point in your life, did it affect your studies or um, tell us a little bit about that, because bullying is a major issue, um, especially with our teenagers who are, you know, in school today. And you're a very gifted teenager at that as well. <laughs> so uh, did it have any impact on your studies at all? Uh, yeah, I when I was in first grade was when it happened and so wow. on. But I was struggling with reading when I was getting, getting bullied, and I just, it was hard to cope with getting bullied and not, you know, being a strong reader and just education. So it's hard to cope with both of them. But Mm -hmm. I kind of just got over it through STEM, and through STEM I found my way. And then once I got STEM, I found that this thing I could do, and that's how how I started my advocacy and stuff like that. Okay. That's amazing because if you did it, uh, anyone else who's being bullied can do it too. Now, if your bullies Mm -hmm. could see you Mm -hmm. now, and I'm sure some of them probably have. And uh, you're you're amazing. Now your mom Thank is on the you. line as well. How are you, um, Tony? Hi, I'm well. How are you? I'm doing good. It must make you proud to be the mother of such an amazing. Uh, I'm going to call her young woman because in a few <laughs> years she will be 16, then she'll be 18. Yeah. So how does it make yeah. you feel as the mom of a, I would say, a super teen? Oh well. I, I don't even know what to say. I, I'm, I'm just really blessed. Taylor's a really good kid. She's, yeah. she's kind. She's humble. Um, I think um, a lot of people see all this success that she's getting, and mm-hmm. she does the work. I mean, she briefly yeah. talked about being bullied in first grade. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, in second grade, she got retained because of her reading. Um, hmm. And then in third grade, she got diagnosed with ADHD, which Taylor called. What do you call it, Taylor? You, Abundantly feel- different, happily divine. So, oh, that's awesome. I like that. So I, I like as a mom, I can say that what I'm most proud about is how she took what most folk would think as flaws and failures yes, and turned right. those into successes. So to me, my proudest moments are how she handles her failures each day because okay. she's human, she's a kid, that's um, right. she's not that's perfect right. either. So, uh-huh. um, And she's just 14. She, she's excited yeah. to be 15. She'll be 15 <gasps> next month. So, oh, next um, month she has a birthday. Awesome. Yeah, July 15th. <laughs> Oh, she's a July baby. I am as well. That is yeah. awesome. And um, oh. just like you said, the, yeah, I'm a July baby as well. Um, July 8th. Oh, okay, um, not too far mm-hmm. apart. No, but I, I guess as a parent, that's, that's what makes me, you know, be really proud of her because even for her birthday, instead, you know, most kids want to have a party. They want right. to, you know, get money, clothes. Exactly. This kid wants to go to Ghana and you Look know, bring resources to an orphanage there. So um, wow. she yeah, she really amazing. just worked hard. Yes, and you can look on when I look at her uh, Twitter page and the other page we're going to discuss in a in a few minutes her GoFundMe page. You can see um, all of the work that she has done, and she does it with a smile. Now, um, let me segue into this, Taylor. As a teen philanthropist, you have a heart for our youth mm-hmm. and other teens as well, domestically yes, um, and internationally. Now, mm-hmm. tell us about a past campaign that was so successful. I mean, it turned major heads. And then well, after you tell us about that uh, campaign, tell us about the current campaign um, that you're working on. Uh, well, the Hidden Figures campaign, that's when I um, did that campaign for that movie, and I raised a mm-hmm. lot of money, and a lot of people came out. But it was just it just shocked me because um, I didn't know that many people were going to come out and see the movie. And this mm-hmm. movie was very important to me because it was like three black women who helped get John Glenn into space. And I That's never right. would have thought that would have ever happened or That's right. without this movie, nobody would ever know. So I thought this movie is really important and that everybody should see it. That's right. That's right. And uh, you're and, currently working. Go ahead, darling. Go right ahead. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, you're, you're fine. Okay. You're working on a a campaign right now, uh, and it's Mm -hmm. very important. It's already a success. I'm going to allow you to tell tell us about it. But as it relates to hidden figures, I would, would I be right by saying that's one of your most favorite movies of all time? (laughs) Yeah, uh, yeah, well, the Wrinkle in Time campaign, well, so far I've got people to see, 5,000 people to see the movie, A Wrinkle in Time, while also giving them the book because you know literature is my thing but I I really liked this movie because it was my first time seeing a black female protagonist in a science fiction film and Mm -hmm. I really thought that was important especially for girls to see so I raised the money and got everybody to come and it was just really exciting for me and I was so much proud of myself but I did want to give a shout out to J.J. Abrams his wife Oprah Winfrey and just everybody who donated Yes, definitely. And currently, as of now, um, I just looked at the um, your campaign, your GoFundMe campaign, and mm-hmm. you have way surpassed um, your mark. I mean, mm-hmm. at, as of late, it's one hundred one thousand five hundred eighty nine thousand. But you were only initially asking to raise one hundred and ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and that just goes to show you that people are behind you, Taylor, and yes, that you're yeah. definitely not alone. And what you are doing is mm-hmm. amazing because uh, you're a role model. Yes, ma'am. You're a role model. You are a role model, and uh, you're doing such a great job now. Tell those who are listening and those who are going to listen after uh, this interview has been uploaded, where can they donate to your present campaign? Uh, you can go to GoFundMe.com and then just type in Astronaut Starbright, and you can find my campaign there. And I'm glad Called you mentioned it. Time. Called, yeah. Right, called a wrinkle in time, and I'm mm-hmm. glad you mentioned that your alias is Astronaut Starbright. I like yes, that ma'am. name. Where did you get the name from, my dear? 
Um, I got it at Space Camp because um, I wanted to be an astronaut, of course, but Mm -hmm. I was very bright for my age since I was nine years old, really into space and stuff, but I used to draw the stars and look up to the stars, so they kind of gave me that nickname, Star Bright, and it kind of just stuck and became my little trademark name. (laughs) I like that a lot. And I just wanted to say also, uh, when your mother mentioned – what uh, ADHD stood for, I'm mm-hmm. not sure if you have considered it, but that would look phenomenal on a T-shirt. Oh. That yeah. would be amazing. What does it stand for again, my dear ADHD? Abundantly different, happily divine. Abundantly different, happily divine. Mm-hmm. That right yes, there, I believe, would encourage. Tony, don't you agree? That would encourage so many and inspire so many um, kids and yeah, teenagers. I mean, as, a, as a parent, I mean, we our kids come home and you know with having all kinds of issues, bullying, That's learning right. disabilities, mm-hmm. and so it's, it's right. just a catchphrase. When she came home, I I think she just got tired of people picking at her about it because. Uh, with the ADHD, she had to get, like, longer reading times and okay. more time to take her test or she would mm-hmm. have to leave out the room. And so, you know, she just one day just blurted out, I'm abundantly different, happily divine. And after a while, kids were like, I want to be that too. And, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like she was just saying, well, just be kind to people. And yes. um, even with the bullying, she did a, a campaign at ten be a buddy, not a bully, where she worked with various CEOs here in Jacksonville to Mm -hmm. say that they would stand up and be a buddy instead of a bully. So, again, it's just how she, you know, looks at life and how she handles situations. And and like I said, she's she's a kid, a typical teenager. But like I said, it's just how she handles um, Mm -hmm. life. And so many people have helped us. I I know she mentioned – God, I mean, every donation counts, and every That's donation right. has mm-hmm. been um, given back to, if not our community, various mm-hmm. cities. Um, I mean, we did screenings in L.A., New York, okay. New mm-hmm. Jersey, Virginia, Maryland, North Carolina, wow. South Carolina, even eight screenings locally here in Jacksonville and helped fund one in Australia. Um, wow, amazing. With the campaign that was going on there. So mm. when people pay it forward to her, I told, I try to instill in Taylor that you can have all the money in the world, but right. when you donate your time and service to someone, mm-hmm. that's, that means more than any sure amount does. of money could ever, you know, me- uh, measure because that's you're right. giving your time and you can't get that back. You so, sure enough can. Um, you sure enough I'm can. I'm just proud of her. Yes, and and I am too. That's that's phenomenal and awesome advice uh, given to her by you, Mom. And we have a minute left. Uh, something phenomenal is getting ready to take place in the next few days, I believe, uh, as I stated before, that both of you travel extensively. But I heard through the grapevine, Taylor, mm-hmm. that you're getting ready to go to a country that's very far away from the United <laughs> States. Tell us a little bit about that, dear. I'm going to Ireland in a few hey. days to, yeah, to speak at Inspire Fest. I'm going to be a panelist there. It is going to be my first time out of the country, so I'm really excited. That's amazing. You're going to do great. You're going to do phenomenal. And I just want to say to you that you are already a success. And if Thank you... you are an example of what the future looks like for our youth and our teenagers, then there is definitely hope for our youth. Mm-hmm. There is Thank definitely you. hope. Yes, there is for our teenagers because we see so much, you know, on television and on the Internet, um, et mm-hmm. cetera. But you are a prime example that if you stay focused and uh, chase your dreams and your passions, just do it regardless of, you know, uh, situations that might arise such as bullying and other things. Just keep moving, keep pushing, and keep going forward. Hold on one minute, dear. Thank you. 